What is up, everybody? Legends Prods here. Today, we're in Prize Fighters 2, aka the boxing version of Hoop League and Hoop Land. So, basically, it took me about four hours to make a crazy late league with all the best fighters that I know. So, I'll showcase that real quick here. I also just let the CPU actually, no. Yeah, I let the CPU create a couple, but I just scrapped that entire league because it was mid. So, I just made my own. I put my me and my brothers also in it. So it's, I'll just scroll through this here. There's three weight classes. That's it. There's only 21 fighters and there's only four weight classes, but that, that doesn't bother me that much. Um... Yeah, so basically what we're going to do is what I would do in Hoop League, just commentate the cards. That's, that's basically it. Uh, we're going to start in 2020. Uh, generate CPU gems, no. Maximum fights per card, 10. CPU aging, off. CPU can book fights. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I've already tested this many times, and pretty overpowered stuff usually happens for a couple of people. We're just gonna go to 2022. Just so the uh, fighters can generate at least like 10 or 12 fight records. You know, nothing too big, nothing crazy. Ooh, five fights on a card. Dang. Right, let's see the upcoming card for this. Oh, that's it? Okay, so we're going to do the five fights card. That is a lot. But let's do it. All right, so the first fight on the card is Devin Haney versus Pitbull Cruz. The second one on the card is Deontay Wilder versus Roy Jones Jr., the third one on the card is Julian Serrato versus Frank the Ghost Martin. The fourth one on the card is Floyd May Mayweather versus Mike Tyson. And the main event of the evening. I can't pronounce Yusik's first name, so I'm just going to say Yusik versus Muhammad Ali. This is a five-fight card. This is going to be a long video. But let's do it. Starting with this one. Let's see how quick... Let's see which one ends the fight the quickest. Dang, Haney is two and eight. That is bad. First round, ready to start. Cruz, all of his fights are knockouts. And Haney straight out shot in the gate here. Cruz two weaves. He is weaving all of Haney's punches. Haney cannot land a solid punch. And a strong hit for both fighters. And it's another strong hit for Isak Cruz here early in the first round. Haney is just getting destroyed. Cruz is too good. It's a strong uppercut for Cruz. And it's another. Will we see a first round knockout for Isak Cruz? Wouldn't be the first time he's done it. Strong punches for Haney now. He's trying to get back into the fight and he is doing it well. Haney a strong uppercut now. He's driving him back into the corner. Cruz is hurt. Cruz goes down with the left uppercut by Devin Haney. Cruz goes right back up at five. Haney straight hot out the gate once again, trying to secure his third victory of this boxing league. Another uppercut, that's what ended Cruz earlier. If he can stay on his feet for the rest of the round, I do not see any world if he doesn't do good in the upcoming rounds. Cruz just needs to survive at this point. Cruz, a strong hit, and he's going to go down for the second time before the end of the round. He's going to get up at four. He is down three points on the cards. One more knockout, and he is out for the fight. 
He has two seconds to survive, and he does. Devin Haney came out hot, ready to fight. As Cruz has all of the percentages, and he's just counterpunching as Devin Haney's strongest game. And he proved it there. Strong uppercuts dropped Cruz twice. Cruz trying to come back now as he went down two times last round. Cruz uppercut. He's just com combinations now. For Cruz as Haney struggling to get punches as he gets a four hit combo as I say that. Four hits once again for Devin Haney. And both fighters are in jeopardy of cut damage now. Strong uppercut by Cruz. Both fighters leave the other's punches. Three hits, four hits, five hits for a sack Cruz. And an uppercut to go. A minute and 38 left in the round. Strong uppercut by Cruz. Cruz is just counter punching, waiting for him to tire himself out. Both fighters taking a chance to recover him. Haney drops Cruz again. Third time going down. Will Cruz get back up? He does at five. Isaac Cruz is struggling versus Haney as everybody knows he needs one good punch and Haney could be out. And Cruz goes down again. Four times now. Can he get up? It's not looking like it. Devin Haney wins in the second round after a strong four knockdown, one knockout win. Devin Haney, a flawless two round victory. That fight did not take very long to end. So we still have four fights up ahead of us in the card. Don't go anywhere because it's just getting good. This fight scheduled for four, or I mean for six. Deontay Wilder looking to make an upset as he is two for seven. That is tough. As Roy Jones Jr. straight hot out the gate. Combination punching is key here as both fighters have hit their fair share of punches already. Strong hook by Roy Jones Jr. Deontay Wilder getting pushed into his corner like a rag doll now. Strong hook, no good for Roy Jones Jr. He's got his guard up and gets clocked by two strong punches. Both fighters getting absolutely pummeled by the other. Wilder's good combination punching. Misses that, so Roy Jones Jr. needs better accuracy if he wants to knock down the strong person that Wilder is. Going toe to toe with Tyson Fury. This is not the fighter to underestimate. Wilder is already in cut damage jeopardy. This is not looking good for him as he gets hit with four punches. Now he's backed up into a corner. Against the ropes, what will Wilder do? Wilder, Wilder trying to fight his way out the corner. Is this the strategy? 24 seconds left in the round. Strong hit for Roy Jones Jr. And he drops Wilder in the first. Wilder gets up at four. Roy Jones Jr., great way to start his fight. The fans are loving it here. Can he survive the first round? He does. Roy Jones Jr., strong shot to drop him in the first round. He had the best percentages by far. We will see how this fight progresses. Wilder can always knock Roy, well, Roy Jones Jr. down and come back. So uh, let's see as he hits a strong uppercut. Seven hit combo for the road. Both fighters struggling to hit shots, both playing great defense. As now Roy Jones Jr. getting back into a rhythm, weaves two punches, he now he's throwing with a rhythm behind it. A minute and 47 left in the round. 
Deontay Wilder needs a miracle at this point. Roy Jones Jr. in a rhythm, weaves his hit. Both fighters taking a pause. Roy Jones Jr. needs to keep the aggression if he wants to knock him out. Weaves. Now he's just throwing, trying to get something to happen. Strong left hook. And now Wilder has a chance. As Roy Jones Jr. is hurt. Jones in the corner. He weaves another hook. Roy Jones Jr. is crazy. And he goes down. Just as I say it. Both fighters have been down once. Let's see if Deontay Wilder can knock him down again. Wilder getting pummeled now. What is happening? Roy Jones Jr. has 10 seconds in the round. Can he do something? Jones goes down again. He gets up at five, and that will wrap up the round. Wilder takes the lead on every card with a two-knockdown round. What just happened? Third round underway, halfway through the fight. Wilder caught out the gate, six-hit combo. Roy Jones Jr. has nothing to respond with. He's basically thrown everything in his arsenal early on. Can he recover? Leaves Wilder's hook. Good combination punching for Roy Jones Jr. now. Roy Jones Jr. gets hit with a strong uppercut. He's trying his best to fight back still, despite being injured. Roy backed up into his corner here. And he gets dropped again. Roy Jones Jr. down three times this fight. Can he get back up? He's up at five. Scheduled for six. I don't even know if it will go to the fourth round. By the way, this is going. Strong hook by Wilder. Got Jones Jr. back up into his corner. And he drops him again. When will Jones Jr. call it quits and stay down? Seven. He's up at seven. One more knockdown and this fight is over. Due to a stoppage by the ref as a seven hit combo clocks in for Roy Jones Jr. Both fights and cut damage, both fighters and cut damage jeopardy and that's the end. Knockout for Deontay Wilder in the third round. Roy Jones Jr. threw a strong shot that knocked down Deontay Wilder, and then he proceeded to get knocked down five times in a row, which ended his fight early. Now we have Julian versus Frank the Ghost Martin. We will begin this fight. Frank Martin, six and three, all of which by knockout. Julian, two for six. Both fights win by way of knockouts. Both of these fighters have knockout power. We will see how this happens. As Frank Martin stuns the fighter early, and Julian hits a solid shot to the body. Julian gets hit with a nice jab. Good work by Martin. Julian comes trying to get something to happen, but Frank Martin is too strong. He gets hit with eight in a row and an uppercut to go. Frank Martin, strong punches here early in the first. This fight may not last long. Seven hits in a row for Frank Martin. Frank Martin got Julian cooped up in a corner. Frank getting pushed out the corner now. We will see what happens. Julian struggling. He is in cut damage jeopardy already. Weaves a hit. Gets clocked with another one. And Julian goes down just like that. Early in the first. Er, eh, midway through the first, Julian gets hit and falls. Can he stay up for the rest of the round? 
Good hook by Julian. He's trying to get back into a rhythm as he just got clocked with a strong hit to knock him down. 15 left in the round. Julian strong uppercut here against Frank Martin. Will he stay up for the rest of the round? He does. Martin up on every card. No surprise there. He is winning on every percentage-wise possible here. Round two, up and running. Julian, four-hit combo. Martin weaves. Julian now hits him with another two-punch combo. Great job by Julian. Trying to get back into this fight. Frank Martin throwing great combinations now. Trying to get Julian off his rhythm. Two minutes and ten seconds left in the round. No fighters got the deciding punch here in the round so far. Julian, two weaves and a counter punches are landing flush for Julian here in this round. Julian is in more cut damage jeopardy though. Let's keep that in mind as this fight progresses. Frank Martin could go down at any moment after that punch. We will see what happens. Frank Martin under a world of pain. Julian misses that uppercut. That could have just ended him if it hit. Julian shocking Martin with a huge powerhouse explosive combo. But is that enough? And Julian, another strong hook. Weaves gets hit with three in a row. What is happening here in the second round? Will Julian stay on his feet? He's getting hit with too many punches now. Julian goes down. Just like that, the young fighter faces the canvas once again. Stands back up. And he is ready to keep boxing. Frank Martin was almost down this round. But it was just not enough. 16 to 20 on all judges' cards. Only one time knocked down for Julian. Julian clocks him with three. Frank Martin is definitely got to be hurt after that. There's no way. Surely Frank is feeling some sort of pain here after being hit with a strong combination. Two minutes and 15 seconds as Martin leaves and catches Julian with three. Both fighters now trying to make the other fall. At this point, none have strategies. Julian gets clocked with a crazy left hook. And he's on the canvas for the second time in this fight. And that'll be it. Frank, the ghost Martin, wins by way of knockout. In the third round, a minute and 49 left. What a fight that was. Arguably one of the best fights of the card. Floyd Mayweather versus Iron Mike Tyson. Mike is 10-2. Hasn't lost a single... Or hasn't won a single fight without it being a knockout. As basically all the... Two of these fights have been... Upsets. I would expect Roy Jones Jr. to win that one because, you know, the record's just the records, yeah. And then Devin Haney gets his first win in a while against Cruz. Two fights to the heavyweight championship. Let's just get it up and running here for Mike Tyson and Floyd Mayweather. versus Mike. Uh, the words I never thought I'd have to hear myself say as Mike Tyson is getting destroyed here at the beginning of the fight. Floyd Mayweather with blood on his mind here. You know at any moment Tyson could knock you out immediately. So let's, let's not get too cocky at the beginning as he gets hit with a strong left. Mike Tyson has the knockout power unlike anybody has ever seen. 
even if he's been getting hit the whole fight, one strong uppercut, one strong hook, one strong cross, and it's over. Seven, eight hits for Floyd Mayweather here, as he is definitely up on the cards here. What is happening? Mike Tyson is struggling in this fight. Good, strong hit for Tyson, but he's cooped up in a corner. He just keeps getting hit by combinations. What can Mike Tyson do? Floyd Mayweather has him on the ropes. Mike Tyson is hurt. He's swinging for his life now. Tyson gets weaved. That could have been a strong hit for him. Tyson gets hit with a strong left hook. What will he do? Tyson trying to push his way out the corner. Gets hit with the hook. And Floyd threw one right back. Could not hit. Time. What was that? As Mayweather takes that round, Tyson barely stood on his feet there. What is happening? Is Mike Tyson beat? Or is that just the beginning of the fight? We will find out. Schedule for six. Mike Tyson strong punching. And he gets clocked with a left hook that he never saw coming. Mike Tyson is struggling here. He is trying his absolute best here, but it is not enough for Floyd Mayweather's power. Floyd gets hit hard there. Mike Tyson might just be coming back. Mike Tyson throws a good, strong right hand. Almost threw a left. He got hit with three hits in a row, one of them being a power left hook. Now Mike Tyson throwing combinations as he's getting pummeled into the corner still. He needs to fight his way back to the middle of the ring to reset the fight. As it looks like that's what he's trying to do, but Floyd is just throwing too many fast punches. It's not enough for Mike Tyson at this point. Mike gets weaved. Floyd Mayweather going back to his ways. Strong right hook. What is happening? And now Tyson hits a left. Tyson now running him back into his corner. The tables have turned. Mike on the offense. What will happen here? Mike got weaved. Now he's getting hit with combinations. Mike Tyson knocks down Floyd Mayweather in the second round. He stands up knowing he shouldn't have fallen there. The last five seconds left. Tyson comes back with a crazy shot to knock down Mayweather. He's up on all the cards. Those body shots definitely wore out Mayweather to the core. Tyson gets weaved. Tyson now throwing everything in his arsenal, trying to hopefully knock out his opponent, Floyd Mayweather. Definitely a strong fighter. No way to hate on that, but is it enough to beat Mike Tyson? He's definitely been holding his own. I would expect Mike to get knocked down from the way the fight has been. But so far, he's been staying up on his feet. He just got hit with like eight punches in a row. Mike Tyson in cut damage jeopardy here in the third round. Strong punch. Both fighters hitting with their fair share of respected power. Mayweather three hit combo after a nice counter punch. Mike Tyson getting driven back. He gets hit with a strong punch. Will Floyd go down again? Floyd backed into a corner. Nobody doubts Mike Tyson. This is what he's proving here in the third round, but he's getting beat back now. What is happening? They're going back to center ring. Strong. Left hook for Mike Tyson. Mike gets hit with the with the right hook now. What is happening? Mike Tyson keeping his distance. He'll let the round end in fashion. Going to the fourth. Mayweather wins. He's got the fight tied on two cards and he's down two points on one of them. He needs a knockdown now. He has never needed one more in his professional career.
Mike Tyson hitting great combinations as Floyd Mayweather just hit a huge hook. And it's another one. Tyson got hit with two good punches. Mike Tyson slowly going back to the corner. Is he running? Weaves now as Mike Tyson gets hit with a strong uppercut. Mayweather on the offense, trying to fight his way into the fight once again. Can he get back into it? He gets hit with the left. Tyson looking like he's ready to go. He hits five strong jabs back to back to back. Tyson weaves and hits him with the body shot. Mayweather got has Mike Tyson under the reign of strong punches. Tyson is showing blood. What is happening here in this bout? Tyson is in the corner. He is struggling. He cannot get off the ropes for nothing. 25 seconds left in the fight. Left in the round. And Tyson goes down by a strong left hook in the fourth round. Is Tyson down? It's over. Floyd Mayweather wins the fight in the fourth round. Nobody saw that one coming. Now, the heavyweight fight that we've all been waiting for. Usyk versus Muhammad Ali. Tyson was 10-2, and two, and we saw how that ended. All of these fights so far have basically been upsets. We will see how this ends. Heavyweight championship. Yusik versus Muhammad Ali. Ali not looking to lose now. If he wins this, he might be first on the pound for pound card. Or the pound for pound ranking. As Muhammad Ali is coming straight hot out the gate. Yusik now throwing punches back. Both fighters getting hit with strong combinations. Yusik getting just pummeled now in the middle of the ring. Strong shot for Ali hits. And now it's an uppercut for Yusik. Muhammad Ali getting back into the ropes. Yusik needs to end the fight quickly because in the long run, Ali always wins. Ali strong left, getting pushed back now. Ali will advance, trying to get his opponent into the center of the ring. Music trying to go and be uh, offensive now, trying to push on, trying to push him into the corner, but nothing will work. Music back into the corner. Muhammad Ali seems to have the control here, the controller here, and he is just he is just definitely winning the round. And it's a strong left hook. Ali knocks down Yusek in the first round with 12 seconds to go. Yusek gets up at three. Ten seconds left. Muhammad Ali hot out the gate. One second, and that will end the round. Retain his belt here in the first round. And let's see how the second goes. Ali just just hit with a nice combo after having a crazy uppercut. Yusuf in the long run will not be able to survive this power that Muhammad Ali possesses. Nine hit combo. Most I have seen so far in the evening. Yusek throwing his best punches. Now he's trying to fight back. He's trying to match Muhammad Ali's power. But it's too much. Ali gets hit. He's down. 
strong uppercut for Yusuf. Ali is hurt. Ali had two seconds left. He gets up at eight. He almost couldn't get up. He needs to be more careful than he has been the entire fight. He almost lost his belt there. There was a two-second span between loss and continue, and he decided to keep on fighting. Strong punches from Muhammad Ali as so far it's a tied fight. And Ali drops Yusik now. He comes back with a strong uppercut to knock down Yusik. Eight, nine, it's over. Muhammad Ali is the reigning heavyweight champion as he retains it in the second round. It's over. Muhammad Ali is the champion, as that was the card here in the evening. Let's check out the pound-for-pound pound rankings. Muhammad Ali, first, Canelo Alvarez, second, Colton Toronto, third, top five, Mike Tyson and Frank Martin, trailing as the three champions are all in the top three. The worst fighter is Julian Toronto after losing that fight. Who will be the next champion? All right, let's, uh, we're going to call it quits, but this will be the next fight we will do. Sometimes there's not a lot of uh, fights in a card, so let's simulate to January 28th. Simulate this. Ben Whitaker takes out Cameron Toronto. This is the fight we'll be doing. Shakur versus Canelo. Scheduled for 10.